Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Today's a big Wednesday because we know with the schedule of how EA is running team of the season guaranteed SBCs that on Wednesdays we get the big time league guaranteed pack. And that of course means Premier League guaranteed TOTS pack is going to be coming today on this game. I want to take a look at how I think EA might price this, how it's going to affect the market, and how these Premier League Team of the Season cards are already on the move because of the lack of insane content yesterday. And I think we kind of reached the end of the panic selling. Like we were talking about, we were hoping to see an end of those prices of, of these cards being really low. And I think we saw the end of that. And now a lot of these cards have started to go up a bit. Now, if you wanted to buy these for your team, you know, there still might be some more opportunities today on Wednesday to buy them with this SBC coming out. It could cause some more fluctuations. So I want to talk about that in today's video, what to expect with the SBC. And there's a lot of other, you know, stuff going on with the game. Like uh, EA actually did mess up foot champs rewards because the weekend league ended too early. It was supposed to be releasing like today or ending today, but instead it ended the day early. So I'm not sure how EA is going to go with that compensation, what's going to happen with that. But they did tweet about that and they said to stay tuned for updates. We also have Bundesliga Tots leaks and I packed my best red from team of the season ever. And I'll show you guys in this video who I was able to pack. It's absolutely mental. He's an insane card and I love it. So that's going to be everything we talk about in today's video. If you're excited for the Premier League Tots Guaranteed SBC, which I know everybody is, hit the thumbs up on the video. And of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's start off right off the bat by talking about how much is this bad boy going to cost. Last year, this SBC came in as an 87 rated squad requiring one team of the season. It was around 200,000 coins. As you can see here, this is the FIFA 21 SBC solution. You can see a lot of 200,000 coin solutions popping up right here. That's about how much it costed as an 87 rated squad. I think this year, it's probably going to be around the same amount. Actually, if you go back to last year in FIFA 21 as well, and look at how expensive the TOTS cards were, the total squad cost was like 12 to 13 million coins. And that's exactly where we are this year as well. Even with the market being so much cheaper, we have these really high tier cards like Salah, Ronaldo, and Mane, which does kind of lift that total price up for how much the entire team costs. You can see right here on the, on the right. Um, but we still have a lot of cards in this team that are like less than 250,000 coins. So that has me thinking that EA is probably going to put the price point today on a guaranteed TOTS SBC somewhere around like the 2 to 250. I think that an 88 rated squad feels kind of like the sweet spot to me. Um, they went a little bit more expensive with yesterday's EFL um, TOTS SBC, but they also required a token inside of it. So I'm really wondering if the reason why the... Um, SBC yesterday for EFL TOTS was an 84 rated and a bit more expensive uh, was because it had that, you know, TOTS swap token inside of it. I think that was really the reason why, because if we remember correctly, the Air Divisie TOTS guaranteed was really, really cheap. So I think that a Premier League TOTS guaranteed SBC today is going to cost you somewhere around 200 to 250K. I think that would come out to an 88 rated squad, maybe an 87 rated squad if they require two team of the seasons, but I doubt that. I think it's just going to be an 88 squad with a TOTS. If it's anything cheaper than that, then it's a W. I know a lot of us have been saving fodder for this, or you've got fodder stacked up in your club because you've been running the upgrade packs or the upgrade player picks, and you've got fodder in your unassigned or duplicate team of the season cards that you're very ready to turn into this SBC today. And that, that's what's going to happen today on this game, right? This SBC has so much hype and it's going to control what happens on the market today on this game. I do think that your fodder, if it's an 88 rated squad, you will see some of the middle to uh, you know, 88 rated to like 84 rated are probably going to be the ones that bump up in price a little bit. And maybe it would be 86 is the most. Of course, the fodder market as we sit is up a little bit right now from the SBCs we had yesterday. A lot of these 86s are up like 1 to 2K a piece. Your 84s are up about 1,000 coins. Your 85s are up about 1,000 coins. Um, and your, even your 88s are up like 1K a piece too. So a little bit of a rise on fodder. Today could be a bit of a, um, you might see a jump in fodder right around 6 p.m. And if you're wanting to sell this fodder that you might have as an investment, if you're looking to sell it um, before the Friday comes with more pack supply and stuff like that, which I don't necessarily think you have to sell. If, if you don't, if you're not wanting to open packs right now and you're wanting to hold fodder for an even bigger rise later on, 
Uh, I think fodder this last week was the cheapest that uh, it's going to get for the next couple of weeks, to be completely honest. Unless EA do something crazy, the number of saved up packs for like this weekend for Bundesliga Tots is not near as high or as many as it was for last week with Premier League and all that hype. So I think that fodder might drop off a bit as we head towards the end of the week. I think it's going to go up today. But if you want 84s at like 2,000 coins, like they don't go any lower than that ever. So if you don't mind sitting on those investments, if you um, don't need the coins right away, or if you're unassigned and you don't need to open packs for right now, if your favorite tots is not in packs, then keep holding on to it. But if you want to sell these cards before they do maybe dip down a little bit this weekend with more pack supply, um, then I think this today on Wednesday or maybe even into Wednesday night into Thursday could be a good time to take the money on some of those cards in the fodder realm if you don't want to risk it any longer and just take your small W. So that's kind of how I think the fodder market's going to move. But I would expect it to go up because, I mean, this SBC, again, like I said, a guaranteed TOTS pack, it, it just has so much hype. And of course, yesterday with the EFL TOTS that was released, so many people were going out and doing that one, especially with the token inside it. Would they put a token inside the Premier League TOTS pack today? I'd be shocked if they did that. Um, that would be the most expensive token that they would have to put out. I really doubt that they would do that. Uh, we'll probably have some other type of token SBC or objective today, maybe in Silver Stars, because we're going to get a new team of the week as well. I would I would be shocked if they put a token in there. But that's going to be the SBC that everybody's wondering about today. And how is it going to impact the market, right? That's the other question. Yesterday, we had the Phil Foden SBC, right? And in turn, with that SBC not being as good as the leaks showcased, uh, and the card is actually has some stats on it that are lower than its team of the or than Phil Foden's team of the year honorable mentions. If you look in the in-game stats, he has um, higher composure and reactions, and long shots and volleys on his 89 rated team of the year honorable mentions card, which threw some people for a loop yesterday. That's why this Phil Foden has a decent amount of upvotes and some downvotes. I'm getting this done because I'm opening so many upgrade packs. He is four star, four star. He's got almost perfect agility and balance, really good dribbling. He's got the lean body type. He does have some nice traits. It's going to be a good card in game. I just think that people are underwhelmed because the boosts on the stats are not as good as we thought they were going to be based off of the leaks, right? The leaks were set here and EA delivered down here. And that's why there's not a lot of hype for this Foden. Stats could have been better. People say Bernardo Silva is better in game. Um, and stat wise, Bernardo Silva is better, which they're not, they're really not wrong. But this is still an SBC that came out. It just wasn't that incredibly hyped. And again, we did see kind of a bottom out for a lot of these Premier League Tots cards. And a lot of them have risen up, right? Cancelo was 900K yesterday. He's now 989. Even on some of the lower tier cards, Diogo Jota was under. Uh, 190k right yesterday he was 179 with rewards he went back to 201 there was some more a little bit of panic around the content drop went down to 187 and is now back up over 200k that's how a lot of these cards are ruben diaz was 200 now he's 220 bernardo was 150 now he's 170 um you know sun was 700 van dyke was 600k flat mane was three mil a lot of these cards have just kind of slowly risen in price now today we could see a few more drops in price on them if you haven't bought and you didn't see a price in the last day or two that you wanted to pick up any of these specific cards for your team for the weekend or whatever you know today might present another opportunity because i would imagine that some people today if you think about it, it's pe people that went out and they bought these cards yesterday for their team or whatever. Let's say like uh, Diogo Jota again, for example, one of the most hyped up cards that is in Prem Tots because he's cheap and he's really good in game. A great budget option. There's going to be a lot of people that pack a Diogo Jota, a Bernardo Silva, a Trent Alexander-Arnold, um, or a Ruben Diaz. You know, those are going to be maybe Bruno as well. Those lower to mid-tier cards are going to pop a lot today from the Guaranteed Tots SBC. And that's going to mean that some people who bought these cards for their teams are going to have to go out and sell them because they just packed the card and tradable. Those are going to be the most common scenarios for pack pulls from the Guaranteed Tots SBC today, in my opinion. So you might see a few of these drop right away just because of that. But also for some of your other cards, like maybe a Sun, maybe a Kevin De Bruyne. These cards, you know, people will be worried about potentially packing a Sun today from their Guaranteed Tots pack. But realistically, how many people are going to pack him? Not very many. So you might see Sun have a little bit of panic selling right after the content drop because, again, the SBC is not going to be that cheap and everybody's going to go out and do it. So you're going to see some prices fall on the market just across the market in general. But specifically with these Prem Tots cards, 
you'll see a few prices drop as people go out and they have to maybe go sell an item. Uh, and it, you know, an SBC like this is just going to create a little bit of panic just because the nature of the SBC has got so much hype and everybody wants to get it done uh, just because of the opportunity of, oh my goodness, what you could pack from a guaranteed TOTS SBC. So that's, I do think you'll see some prices fluctuating around the content drop and it should be an interesting day. It should be more hype than yesterday, in my opinion, um, just because this is an SBC that everybody looks forward to every single year during team of the season. So that's kind of how I think those Prem Tots cards, how fodder is going to be impacted by that guaranteed SBC. Now, like I just said as well, on the rest of the market, since yesterday was kind of a quieter day, and there wasn't a ton of hype and the panic selling has kind of cooled down and even ended. You saw more bounce backs on other out of packs cards. R Graven Birch was all the way down at like 950. He was panic sold to 940 and he's rebounded back up to 1.02, 1.05 is where he was before. Some of these really rare cards and meta cards have bounced back pretty nicely. You know, Anthony was under 70. Timber was like 50,000 coins just from air Divisie team of the season. Some of these other cards, Keen is still pretty low. Um, Jordan Henderson is up a little bit. You know, it's, it's a mixed bag. Some cards have rebounded back up from where they were super duper low in the panic. Some cards are still a little bit down. Ben Yedder is still pretty low. I believe he was maybe like 550 at his absolute lowest yesterday. Um, he was 536, you know, and now he's like 579. So up a little bit, but still down overall. Royce was 150, he's now 186. People investing for the beginning of Bundesliga Tots a little bit there. Where's my Suarez? I skipped over him. Suarez is 875. Yeah, Fred is 540, he's up. Laporte, 566, he is up. And Zaha is up at 435 too. So the other thing you might see today is people go and do the Prem Tots guaranteed. And what that's going to do is kind of persuade people to go and maybe build some teams and finish building their teams out. A lot of people wait for this SBC today to then go out and, you know, finish up their squad for either weekend league or finish up their prem squad with all the links and the upgrade packs they've done with the cards that they were able to attain from those and pack uh, and pack those cards. So you might see some other prem specials on the game today rise back up a little bit as people go out and finish building and putting together some of their Prem teams. So if there's any low prices on any Prem specials that you think could rebound a bit, uh, that would be a great place to look on the market today for the next couple of days. And then same thing with the rest of the out of packs market as well. Like Gravenberch is down really bad, 370. Like the hype has just kind of fallen away from him. But Pedri was 630 uh, yesterday. And he rebounded back up to almost 700K where he is now after this undercut sells. So if you see panic selling on other rare meta cards on the out of packs market today, that would be a way that if you're trying to make some quick coins, you might be able to go ahead and do that today on Wednesday as well. It, it should just bring a little bit of panic, right? It's, it's going to shake things up a little bit as um, people go out on the game, ha maybe have to sell a card or two and go do this Premier League Tots guaranteed. And still, a lot of the focus is going to be on that Premier League. So I'm kind of watching other Premier League specials. This Lacazette is still up. Can't really buy him. I was watching this Robbie Keane. He's down a little bit. 720 is what Footman just said. Not seeing it. It's not there. But I'm going to keep an eye on other pretty rare out of pack specials as well, just to see if I have an opportunity to trade with some of those today and try to make back some of the coins that we, of course, have spent on upgrade packs uh, in the past couple of days since we've been doing a lot of that as well. So I think there will be some interesting market movements today. And if you haven't bought any Premier League Tots cards, you might have another opportunity to do so and find some deals on those. But other Wednesday content that we might see today, of course, we had Phil Foden yesterday, which I've got one more squad to complete on after I do some more upgrade packs. Got to get the 87 rated squad done for him. Nice card to collect, put it in the club um, and do through upgrade packs. We also had the Nkunku yesterday, which if you're thinking about doing this Nkunku team of the season, I would really just caution you to say, wait three days. Wait three days until we get the Nkunku Tots card because he is undoubtedly going to be in Bundesliga team of the season. He deserves it, A, and B, it's a fan vote, so he's probably going to get in through that. Um, I want to see if they actually upgrade the weak foot, of course, on a Tots and Nkunku, which they should. And I want to see how much of a boost they give this guy because this guy's card might just be unbelievable. Imagine like a high medium attacking work rate a change as well. That would be insane. And that would just create so much more hype for a TOTS item that would be more expensive. But then you would say, okay, based on how that card looks, is it worth it for me to do this in Kunku, which is decently priced at 130K. Still, I would kind of wait for that. But we might see Kulusevsky today as well. That's another leaked SBC that we have not seen yet. I could also see that being saved for Thursday, since today is just going to be dominated with the hype 
of the Premier League tots guaranteed. So um, if you're watching the Prem right wings today, again, I think that Lucas Mora card, winter, not winter wild cards, Lucas Mora, but the fantasy foot Lucas Mora is still really, really expensive. And I think that if you see a Kulusevsky come today, this card being incredibly rare as he is, um, I think he would drop off in price a bit if that Kulusevsky is really, really cracked. We also should have a team of the week today, which uh, is just going to basically give us more informs and fodder uh, to potentially pack through upgrade packs. So that's kind of nice. Uh, we will see a refresh of those cards that honestly, nobody really cares about team of the week at this time because it's all about the team of the season cards. But team of the week does, of course, bring our new fodder cards on the game. And uh, that depends on who we're going to pack through upgrade packs and what cards to maybe invest in if you like investing in inform. So watch out for that today. I also think they might put a uh, silver star in here today and then put a token inside of it as well. We had this uh, Saudi let guy um, from last week. So I would be, I'd be curious to actually see if they would drop it from the secondary league this week or if they do a Prem Tot silver star. I don't know what they're going to do. It'll be interesting to see who they drop, but I would imagine a tot swap token would be available through there um, as part of our content today as well. Now, a couple other things to talk about on the end of this video today is the first thing is I'm sure a lot of you guys saw the big announcement yesterday from EA's social platforms about EA Sports FC. And I want to just talk about this really briefly because realistically, this is not going to pose any changes. Nothing here is going to change until like one year from now. So in like July of 2023, which is what this article states. And if we take a look at this webpage as well, that's kind of what it shows us. This is basically just talking through that the name FIFA, so FIFA 22, it's no longer going to be called FIFA. It's going to be called EA Sports FC. They're kind of, they're dropping the name right to FIFA, which is something that has been in the talks for a while and we kind of expect it to happen. So the, the biggest thing you need to know here is that FIFA 23, next year's FIFA, will still be called FIFA, right? Um, but then after that, so for FIFA 24, it won't actually be called FIFA 24. It'll probably be called EA Sports FC 24 or or whatever. Um, but that's just kind of what they're doing. And, you know, they're kind of just getting the news out early and kind of starting to create this culture of, hey, we're going to do all this on our own. It sounds like from this article here uh, that we shouldn't be losing any any licensing stuff. You notice here that it says Premier League, La Liga, Bundesliga, Serie A, MLS, and more to come. Doesn't say anything about League One. And I know that EA this year has some big partnerships with PSG. Uh, but this is really just, um, again, a new era begins in July 2023. So it's a long time ever. Uh, or it's a, long, it's a long time in the future. But again, you can see this after EA Sports delivers the most expansive FIFA ever this year. So it's just basically to tell us that they are officially dropping the name FIFA uh, from this game, um, which is going to be very interesting when we get to, again, like FIFA 24 time frame uh, to see what that looks like. But for this next year, it'll be a normal year of FIFA. And then after that, that's kind of where this pertains. I know some of you guys are like, oh my goodness, next year is going to be no FIFA. No, we'll still have FIFA 23 as normal. Um, nothing will change with that. And also EA FIFA Direct was pretty busy yesterday with um, a couple of issues. And like we talked about, I was surprised that Foot Champs ended Um when it did this week because it ended Tuesday morning um, instead of Wednesday morning, which is what, according to the, the FAQ on the EA website, it should have ended on Wednesday morning. And as they say here, the latest Foot Champs finals unintentionally ended 24 hours before it was previously communicated. We are investigating this issue and will provide further updates in this thread when available. So this issue and th this message right here kind of compiled with what other people have noticed right now in the game is that the foot champions rewards have not been updated yet for this week and it still it still tells you like the normal rewards like if you just look at 11 wins it says you get three player picks and a premium team of the week pack which is not correct right there's going to be bundesliga and um efl tots cards in rewards this week so um yeah that's kind of confusing so i i wouldn't worry about that too much we're going to have tots rewards this is something that we're going to wait on for some more communication from ea sports of course um because that's kind of on their end but well uh, you know are they going to do compensation would they give out like a player pick or would they give out extra rewards that could have a lot of market impact so i don't i don't really know how much to speak on this or to speculate on it right now because we just don't know what ea is going to do but you know, if they were to give out an extra set of rewards, which would be kind of crazy, 
um, then, you know, that actually did happen. I think last year during La Liga team of the season, or it was two years ago during La Liga team of the season, rewards were like incorrect and they gave out two sets of rewards. I remember people getting tons of reds for La Liga tots. I don't remember if that was last year or two years ago, but if that were to happen uh, in the next couple of days, I, I would imagine it would take a few days for them to uh, fix this, but we would see the tweet and then it would probably be like, okay, two or three, four days after that tweet, then they're gonna, they when they would compensate if they're gonna do that. So we just gotta stay tuned to what they're gonna figure out with that and what they're gonna say. But the market could be impacted by that, but I wouldn't be fearful um, at this time about that. So that's kind of the interesting part there. Now, speaking of reds and foot champs, getting my 11 wins last night was the best thing that I ever did because I had my best ever red pick ever hyun min son literally the guy that i wanted the one that i wanted the most from prem tots i actually got him as a red pick unbelievable and this guy has the best finesse shots in the game four games played seven goals scored from the left mid position this guy is a cheat code and he is unreal i cannot wait to keep using this card he he does way better for me than garincha but it also is just because i'm a spurs fan so that probably adds in a little bit of the hype so i'm absolutely loving the Spurs links in the team at the moment, and the squad is rocking. I even went in and went 4 0 in qualifiers today, gifted the rest. So we are very excited uh, for that red pull. Now, last thing I want to end the video with I know it's just been information and information and information. Last thing right here is our more, more, not the first leaks. We already had the um, Jude Bellingham, but we have a couple more leaks to talk about inside of Bundesliga Tots, and this is the first one. Bundesliga Tots looks pretty good, boys. I'm not going to lie. Alfonso Davies. Uh, potentially five-star skill move, Alfonso Davies as well. Once again, these are expected stats, which is our new thing that we see with a lot of these cards. Means it could go up or it could go down a little bit. I really think that they should give Alfonso Davies plus one or plus two in every stat category on his final card. I think it should be 94. If they gave him 90 defense and 90 physical, that would be insane. And that would make this card look so much better. But still, with the five-star skills, he's going to be cracked. Keep an eye out on guys like Marcelo and Cancelo. They might drop just a smidge because of the hype of this Davies card. Davies is just, you know, insane in FIFA as he always is. Last year's Tots Davies card was unbelievable at left back. So that's a really, really big item that's going to be coming this weekend. Then another big leak is the Lewandowski, five-star weak foot Lewandowski. Those are some pretty solid stats right there um, for a level card, which is nice. And of course, the main man who just transferred to Manchester City has himself a Bundesliga team of the season, kind of a final hurrah with Dortmund card here from Holland, 96 pace, 98 shooting, 87 passing, 90 dribble, and 95 physical. So that is our Holland card, and I want to look at his skill move and weak foot situation. He is 3-3, and that was one thing that we haven't seen like at all this year was an upgrade on the skill move or weak foot for him. We really wanted it for the TOTS or the team of the year honorable mentions. I think it's almost guaranteed to come uh, on the TOTS card. I really hope they give him a four-star, four-star, maybe even a five-star weak foot. Uh, that would be that'd be insane. So this, you know, Bundesliga TOTS is looking pretty cracked. We're probably going to get some more leaks later on today on Wednesday, and we'll be talking about it tomorrow night. But those are our biggest leaks so far, and they're honestly some big players. So I'm curious to see how the other players look inside of the Bundesliga TOTS leaks when we start to get those but again um we keep grinding the upgrade packs i haven't packed anything really big i, I keep packing dupe trent's for um you know yeah trent is a dupe that i keep packing i keep packing uh declan rice rodri allison so it's all dupes right now which has allowed me to craft kentana and almost finished phil foden so it's been really really good to craft these cards but also it's like come on ea sports i'm trying to get my last shot here at a you know at a ronaldo or a salah a de bruyne or a mane one of those cards so today of course we're all going to have a shot at that with the guaranteed uh, tots premier league sbc that's going to be the big big sbc for today so if you want to open those live on the stream, we'll be opening them live on Twitch. That link down below is in the description if you want to come and hang out there when those drop on the game today. It'll be a lot of fun, and we'll be watching the market and opening more upgrade packs as we do it. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Photo Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.